Yeah. I mean, it feels good to be appreciated for doing something you love. So how's it been since you joined a crew? Um, it's been good. Um, a different experience. I've grown a lot. I've become more bossy. <laughs> but it's been it's been so much fun and like yeah, getting to know people, like feeling like a family with a group of people who I didn't know a year ago. Yeah, so that's what it's been like. So what inspired you to dance, Paul? Oh, um, hi. Um, so what inspired me to dance? Um, at first, when I first started dancing, it was more of kind of just a hobby, something that I liked, something that I was good at. Um, but then after a while, the more I danced, the more I watched other people dance, the more I got to know um, other dancers, the more it became something that was a part of me. Like, it will always be a part of me. Um, everywhere I go, whatever I do, I'll always be a dancer. So what inspired me to dance was, um, um, I don't know, I guess just it was part of life. So when you dance, how does that make you feel? Well, um, when I dance, like, it just takes me to another world, like, um, it just gives me another, like, it takes all the stress away from me in this crazy world we live in, all the negativity, um, dance just makes me, um, feel that everything's alright in my life and, yeah, it just takes me away from the place that I am in and just dance like no one's watching, basically, it's a quote that I've read before, so, um, yeah, just dance makes me feel, um, like I'm in another world, like I'm not even on earth. I'm like, it's like close to heaven to me, so. And that's what I love about dancing, so. Yo. Well, dancing the crew, I feel there's so much more support, and the people that I dance with are not just my friends, they're my family. And without them, to be honest, I don't know where I'd be. And so they really support me um, with like anything that I have to do, if I'm struggling with something, like dance wise or family wise. They're always there to support me when you're on stage, when you're with the people you love, it all just goes away. Like, you don't feel hate, you don't feel stress, you just feel happy because you're with the people that you love and you, you're doing what you love, you love to dance and it's not just a thing that you do, it's basically a way of life. With me and with the crew, it's us. Basically. Um, so what's your history behind dance and what brought you to dance? Um, I've, I've been dancing for about, uh, I'll say, about six, six, seven years. Uh, but I think the catalyst that like the Lord has given me was like Victor, Victor Kamara. Uh, he's he's like my brother. And, and Victor and Fiston and all those guys from Paradise Church started um, sort of integrating into their life, into my life. And I saw I saw the Lord, uh, the work of the Lord through that. And I've been ever been blessed. And I'm I'm fair to say that I, I would have ne I would not have seen myself to be this happy and this this, this blessed. My history of dance is, uh, is, there isn't so much as a history, but it's a story, really. Uh, like, um, a story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I'm still in the beginning. Uh, everyone goes through crisis, and I went through a fair share. But um, I know that in my heart, I have the Lord's counter, I have my family, I have my friends. Because um, they brought me out of places where I never thought I would have ever get out. So, dance to me is is um, secondary and, and um, God's first. He, 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 he planted a seed of dance in my heart and like uh, it's, it's been growing ever since and you know, my, my history is it's still unwritten really so I'm waiting for it to be un, un, unwritten so. How did you come to love dance, Andre? Um, well, I was first influenced by my brother. So, not only my brother but my relatives my friends and my family, we also dance. Um, high school, high school is a thing that definitely changed, changed me. And I guess it's all thanks to Victor Kamara. Um, he was, I would say, the major, um, the major bridge. Yeah, he was the major bridge that got me over to the other side of dance. And dancing to me back then was something that would attract pretty much girls. So it was pretty much like popularity pretty much. So, my first reason to dance was um, was girls, or popularity, or uh, popularity. So that was that was my main um, my main goal, my main motivation. Cool. So then after that, um, as time passed, I met lots of different people, you know, like all oh, different cultures, different nationality, different backgrounds, and, and meeting their families. You know, I definitely connected. I definitely met new people, met new experiences, and through that, I grew a sense of love. Uh, 
community, a sense of maturity, a sense of um, just having, you know, that just doing things differently, you know, just, you know, just doing things how people wouldn't see things like you know, um, When you first start dancing, it's it's for popularity or for girls, right? Like for me. And then when you start, when, it's, when as time passes, you you start to love it. You start to love dance. The girls will still be there, but dance will be number one. And that's what I've realized now that even for the, the reason how I've become to love dance was because of um, my family. To put it simply, in my case, when I first came down here in Adelaide, there were a limited amount of resources and dances to have a hype in me learn variety styles so that kind of urged me to think about what I could do to learn, share and made all these fresh and swag like dances in Adelaide but it's purely for love because of this urge for me to grow as a dancer it motivated me to create something that I wouldn't be able to come this far without these beautiful dances that I've met and not just that, through them I met numerous community who love to dance, who love to entertain, who love to sing and this also motivated me to be hungry to learn and to be more innovative towards the dance that we have at the moment and to share our passion towards our community. I am pretty glad and happy with how we are so far because we know our limits and we continue to learn and learn and learn to become better, hence being fruitful. I gotta say that I did start dancing at a really late age, like, like, did start in didn't even start in primary school, didn't start in high school, didn't even start in uni. Um, I literally started when I started working, you know, and um, I think the most hardest thing was like time management. Um, just, just working and trying to find some time out, you know, for your crew, it's, it's not easy, especially, you know, like being a chef, you're always on your foot. And then when you dance, you're always on your foot, you know, you're literally on your foot all the time, you know? <laughs> But yeah, um, but yeah, like you only live life once. I mean, there will be opportunities, but you can never go back. Like you can never want to start from the beginning. So I'm just thinking, why not start now? And it, it's really never too late. Um, Penelope, like she um, um, helped me a lot to learn about the history of dance, the fundamentals, because uh, like if you really want to get the where dance came from. I think, um, yeah, just, um, just taught me a lot and the crew. Um, yeah, it's like really pushed me and gave me the passion, which was um, because I really love music and I think like music really helps a lot. Like back in my days, I used to listen to all sorts of music and I think without that, I think my life wouldn't be the same and it wouldn't have helped me in dancing. Yeah, so. Okay, so um, being in Passion Fruit from the start and like seeing people come into the crew and also some people leaving. I would say everyone who's been with us has grown incredibly. Some of us came in as freestylers, never taking a dance class or giving a class and seeing them now being so confident, so creative in their routine. Like you can definitely tell the growth that, um, that they've had. And it feels like when we're together, we feed off each other. Like we give each other ideas and um, and even like Andre said the other day, like getting inspiration from the things around us. Rehearsing in space, we have that. We have people, random people doing their own thing and we can take inspiration from that. So um, being in a crew, we can be more flexible and um, yeah, I would say the growth has been phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> even even, um, even having Brody with us and saying that like, from the last time he hung out with us, like how much we have grown together. And it's good because all of us have all had that experience. We've all taken something out of being in a crew. And um, for me personally, um, I started off as being really, really shy in front of um, in front of an audience. I wouldn't freestyle ever. And um, being with these people has, has taught me to come out of my comfort zone and trying things that I would normally try. Um, and 
and like the encouragement I get from them as well. Like even when it seems okay, they'll just still, still, you know, say good job and um, that, that'll give me feedback.